if you've used the torment machine you know that one of the difficulties is uh, trying to sharpen a knife about this size uh, the knife jig is a nice tool but it won't work on a knife this small so what I've done is I've improvised a jig I've taken the base of the scissors jig and I bolted this piece of uh, flat steel to it piece of scrap steel and so uh, and I've set the angle so I'm going to show you how easy it is to sharpen a small knife now One of the nice things about this is it does a really good job on the curved tip. You can get the angle exactly right. few passes like that and you've got a nice sharp knife. This is a machete. This is too big to use the regular Torment knife jig but you can see that with this jig here I've got nice control. I can sharpen the curved tip and I can go all the way down the entire length of this machete and back again. And I can do the other side, get in here nice and get that curved part, cut it just the right angle, and I can come right in and go right along the entire length of that blade. and get a nice sharp bevel all the way along the entire edge of something as big as a machete. Here's a pocket knife. This is the smaller of the two blades. That's a really tiny blade. Even something as small as that, I can get right down there and grind that edge on both sides and get a perfect bevel on something as small as this. This is a really nice jig and it's easy to make. This is a prototype. I'm going to improve on it. I've got some ideas for improving on it, but right now it's working pretty good. Um, <clears throat> for adjustment, if you're familiar with the scissors jig, this is the base of the scissors jig, and you can loosen this set screw, and then this rotates this way. And then, of course, if you're at all familiar with the Tormet, you know you've got the universal tool support, which you can raise and lower. And so you can set this at any angle you want and lock it in. Using the uh, Angle Master jig here, 
I can set this on here and with this screw loose you can see that it's very easy to set the angle right now I've got it set at 20 degrees but let's say I wanted to change it a little bit I can just turn the micro adjuster knot on the universal support and you can see that I can easily change that angle to anything I want so I can grind these tools at different angles once you get it set in place you're going to want to tighten the set screw here on the base of the scissors jig and now the problem is that this platform is rubbing on the wheel so you just take the micro adjuster and turn it just a few degrees so it's lifted up off of the surface and that slight movement is not going to change the angle it still stays the same if it's a little bit different and you're that fussy you can tweak it some more if you want to but that really does a nice job of setting the angle right where you need it to be so that's the jig um, this is how it's made it's two screws that hold it onto the scissor jig base and so this is all it is really it's just this piece of flat steel it would be better if it were aluminum it would be rust proof and easier to machine and what I've done is on the back side here I beveled this even though this is a thin piece of steel I still wanted to be able to get the end of this close to the grindstone so I put a bevel on here so that comes down and it, the top of this is really just a few millimeters away from the grindstone itself to get it to attach to the scissor base I just drilled two holes and tapped them out so that they would receive the threads on these screws and hold it in place so you can see that the base of this scissors jig is still completely functional for the purpose for which it was intended these two holes don't impair its performance at all if you're using it for the purpose for which it was intended as a scissors jig it's still going to work just fine So really all you need is the base of this scissors jig. You drill a couple holes in there, tap them out, attach a piece of steel, and you can get so close to that grindstone that you can grind knives that are really small or like a machete that's really big. And you could probably do just about any size knife in between. Um, this actually has the potential of replacing the conventional scissors jig I can see how this jig might be easier for beginners to use the setup is easier it's easier to control the uh, grind angle and it's easy to control the blade as you're using it so that's my modification of the uh, scissors jig to work for a small knife jig uh, I want to thank the folks on the Tormac discussion board for all their help. Uh, this has been an ongoing project and if you log on there to www.tormac.com and go to the discussion forum, uh, you can uh, read all about folks who are working on jigs like this and getting them to work. So, thanks.